Today, I want to talk about finding joy in parenting, finding joy in raising kids. Raising great kids is a privilege and a responsibility. Sometimes our children can't see their own greatness. Sometimes we can't. Other times we can see their greatness but struggle to step up because of our own challenges. We will be discussing the brain science, tools and techniques that help us raise great kids. Hi, I'm Cynthia Armstrong. I am a parent, a teacher in general and special education, and I homeschooled my children for five years. Uh, what I talk about are um, the things that I have um, studied and research, uh, discovered and um, practiced in trying to find uh, solutions for myself, for my children, and for my students. Uh, one of the big things that I noticed is there is not very much joy in parenting. Um, and this isn't everywhere, but this is um, a large number. Uh, and I've noticed, I just actually ran across an article that um, had surveyed uh, you know, the upcoming generation and how many of them don't want to be parents. They're like, nope. Uh, I mean, one said, I don't think my grandma liked to be a parent. I know for sure my mom didn't. And so I'm going to break that cycle. I'm not going to do something that I'm not going to like or enjoy or want to do. And so when I look at that, I think about when I first started my parenting journey <laughs> and uh, it, yeah, it was a, it was pretty rough. Uh, I had no clue uh, about uh, pretty much anything. And I really did. I mean, I um, got upset and uh, I was grumpy. I would yell or I would lecture or um, or even when they were younger before you know like they could really understand there was still this uh, you know like oh they're they're awake uh, or oh no they need this thing I they're they're fussing in their crib again uh, you know and there would be this this energy or this feeling about me of uh, exasperation of tired of I can't believe it and things like that and uh, when I look around um, and again this isn't everybody um, at least all the time there's I, I think all parents get it occasionally but for some parents uh, and where I was in the beginning of my parenting journey that's where I hung out most often uh, and our children pick up on that um, and that's that's when I began that's really when I began to say oh um, this needs to change is when it was affecting my oldest child, my, my daughter. And I could see her feel that I didn't care or that she was a burden or those things like, um, and I'm not sure what made me all of a sudden notice it because I'm sure it was there all, all along. But there was one time it like really came to my awareness in such a way that I could look at it and say, huh, this isn't what I want. This isn't what I'm intending. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do differently? And so to, to get that joy in parenting, to let our children know that we have joy in them, then we really have to look at ourselves. And for me, I had to look at um, letting go of my uh, expectations. Like I couldn't um, feel joy. I didn't feel joy when I was, um, you know, thinking about what they're taking from me. You know, oh, I have less time to myself. I'm not getting sleep. I, and I'd have this whole list of things that kids take away, that my, my kids were taking away from me. Uh, and when my focus was on those things that I didn't have because of kids, guess what? 
parenting wasn't very fun. It certainly wasn't joyful. <laughs> and, um, and I mean, not that we didn't have joyful moments or happy times, but, but in the general, um, that was, that was the sense. There was, how can there be joy when all I have in my head is this list of everything that's being taken from me? And how can my children feel a connection with me or, or, um, the love I feel for them if all they're sensing from me is, you know, you've taken from me and nothing about them and um, who they are and the joy in just being. And so when you are struggling, um, go ahead and again, look into yourself. What are those patterns or those programs or those repetitious thoughts that you're having. Uh, and, and then if you need to switch them, if you want to switch them um, to create more joy and happiness, then you want to switch your focus from all those things that, um, that have been taken from you and um, look at the focus um, of what do they bring into your life? And sometimes we might think, oh my goodness, I don't know, what do my kids bring into my life? Because, not because they don't bring something, but because our focus was so totally somewhere else that it's like never really thought about it before. And so uh, it doesn't matter how, um, how many behaviors your child has, uh, how uh, many um, difficulties in health or anything like that. Uh, when your focus is on what is brought to your life because of your children, um, it brings that joy in parenting to us because the struggles isn't parenting. Um, that's just one little part. And tell me, what have you ever accomplished uh, that means anything to you that there wasn't a little bit of struggle, a little bit of overcoming, a little bit of effort? I can't think of anything. I, I really can't. Not something that really means something to me. It all takes um, that little bit of struggle, effort, because that's where growth comes from. Um, if we're constantly in conflict, if we're constantly in, in that um, friction mode, then we're not having um, growth. But it's to um, be in that challenge and then overcoming. And we can overcome even in the challenge. If our child is struggling and we have to really turn in and really focus inward and learn how to let go of um, these expectations and to unconditionally love this child because if this child's having some kind of a behavior or some kind of something like that, and um, we feel that um, that negative, that focus on the what they're taking, then uh, we are um, not experiencing that growth that we want. We're just wearing out. You know, we're just wearing out and and creating that friction that wears holes rather than that growth that brings learning, that brings understanding, that raises us to a higher uh, understanding, a higher level, higher energy, if you're into that uh, energy kind of thing. And so, um, if you are not experiencing that joy in parenting, uh, then don't look to your child um, to fix that for you because that's not their job. 
and it's not going to help because if we're not experiencing that joy, then that's a shift inside us we need to make. Uh, and uh, I know it can be a big struggle to see how to make that change. There's a lot out there that says, oh, you know, just notice that it's you and change it. And um, from someone who was very, very stuck in those patterns, great, you can tell me that till the sun comes down for the next century. And it doesn't help me to know how to make those shifts. So if you are a parent that's struggling um, with being able to change that focus, um, then, you know, feel free to reach out. You can visit uh, my webpage, www.raisinggreatkids.net to talk to me, um, or you can just email me at support at raisinggreatkids.net, uh, and I can uh, get together with you to kind of show you those things um, that, that um, are available to help you um, not to just know I need to change that focus, but to help you see how that is possible. Um, because believe me, I, I was there where I couldn't see the possibilities for uh, how stuck I was and how in a pattern I was. So uh, all kids are great by their very nature and it is our opportunity and our privilege to raise them. I'll see you next time. Hi friends, Cynthia Armstrong here. Thanks for joining us today. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can see when new videos come out and like this one. It is such a responsibility and a challenge to raise great kids and we are here to help you along that journey to make it as enjoyable and fun and fulfilling as possible. Please check out our website, www.raisinggreatkids.net, and I will leave that in the description below.